Gary in Hagen. Ah, that's all he wrote. <laughs> I have no idea what a Hagen is. Maybe somebody out there, as you always do, and I so appreciate it, let me know where in the world Hagen is. All right. Well, Gary's there. We know that. Okay, so it's at least got one citizen. Uh, hey, Paul, you mentioned on the forum that I have no interest in DSD 512. There's every reason to support DSD 256, and anything beyond that is just a numbers game without any audible benefit. Good thing I only talk in absolutes. <laughs> I got to watch I got to watch what I say. All right. This begs the question as to why to master at DSD64 when there are audible benefits up to 256. I'm guessing that this is a practical decision given that you are set up for 64 and very little audible difference between 64 and 256. I do appreciate the smaller file size and your DSD64 recordings at Octave Records are well executed and sound great. Okay. Thank you. We Couple things. DSD 64 was what we started Octave Records at because it was the limitation of the Sonoma DSD system. I didn't have much of a choice. And I was fine with that. Why? Well, compared to any other form of recording, especially what everybody does today, which is PCM, DSD 64 through the Sonoma system sounded heavenly. A, a step this big from PCM, from the very best, 192, whatever you got, this compared to single rate DSD, huge, giant difference. And that was good enough for me, good enough to start a record label, and we did that for quite some time. But as I am like to do, and there's some nasty flies around me, and you probably too, I start hungering for more. How can we do better? Is 64 the best we can do? Well, the more I started learning about it, the more I realized that DSD 64, while it is so much better than PCM, even the best PCM, it is a little flawed in that there is noise in the audio band. Now, you don't really hear it because it's up there in the 1820K, but it's not perfect. And we'd like it to be as close to perfect as possible. So you do a little bit of study, and you find that double rate DSD, or twice 64, and just as a reminder for those, I know a lot of people watch these videos, they're not in, in, uh, in order. So DSD 64 simply means it is uh, running at a sample rate that is 64 times faster than the CD recording, which is at 44.1 kilohertz. So just multiply 44,100 times 64, and you get 2.8 megahertz. That's the sample rate that DSD 64 is running at. I mean, it's, well, 64 times faster. And the next step up is DSD 128. You guessed it, double 64, 180, 128 times faster than the CD. Okay, that is, because of that doubling of frequency, the little bit of noise that gets into the DSD-64 is gone, way out of band, and you're not chewing through too much. So if I had a magic wand and was to choose today, I would say DSD-128 um, is really the sweet spot from any number of thought processes and practical practicalities in DSD. But DSD 256, 128 times 2, which is the next step up, is a little bit better sounding when we make recordings, noticeably so, than DSD 128. And remember I talked at first about the gap between PCM and 64 was like this well, the gap between 64 and 128 is like that, and the gap between 128 and 256 is like that, but it's there. And I am an obsessed audiophile nut job. So, 
if I can have it, which I can in our peer mix system, I'm going to go for it. 512, well, I've experimented a little bit with it. Pyramix doesn't do it, but we have experimented with it, and it's a little better, but not by much. And now we get into the point of diminishing returns, technically speaking. Right now, when we do a multi-track recording at Octave Records, at DSD-256, the computer is going, I mean, I got to tell you, we are at the limits of what is possible in multi-track recording with today's hot rod computers. Our, our speaker designer, Chris Brunhaver, is also a, um, <laughs> he's a whack job at a whole bunch of stuff. And computers is one of them. He builds these high-speed gaming computers. So he built us this just smoking hot, he built three of them for me actually, for Octave Studios. And they are smoking hot computers, but they still gag a little bit when we do like 32 tracks of DSD-256. If we were to double that at, what is it, 512? I don't know that our computers could handle more than about 16 tracks. And because the difference in the improvement is so small, it's not worth it. It's not practical for everything else you give up. So that's why I say the sweet spot in DSD is 128. If you can do 256, go for it, because it is noticeably better. 512 gets to be silly, and 1,000, whatever the hell, 24 is out there in outer space without any real benefit. And I think you're probably going to wind up with more problems than you do benefits. So that's why I say all that. Okay. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.